Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to some Genshin Impact. Last time we unlocked our glider and got to the first city, Mods, Mondstadt. Something like that. And then we fought a dragon and got invited to these uh, Favonius headquarters. Favonius Knights headquarters. Oh no. It's going wrong. I'm dropping frames. Stop. Stop dropping frames. Okay, I think we stopped. We're good again. So, what direction do we need to go? I can't really see where the... Where the objective is, so I guess we're just gonna go this way. We got our cool new wings. Oh. I think we're actually supposed to go here. Almost went too far down. Be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Hey, we're level Let's 5. I don't want to talk to Paimon. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I brought them. <laughs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> Oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. What? <laughs> For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. If it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your brother. Mm. We should help, will help too. Paimon, you're just a guide. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. What about the last one? I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. No. Paimon doesn't. <laughs> Thank you, Paimon. It must be a local thing. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Oh, what the heck is going on? My internet like bad at the moment? Oh, we can wish now. And we can shop now. I don't know what the shop does, but... Press F3 to make a wish. I think that's what we want to do right now. What the heck? Is my internet bad though at the moment? I mean, my ping has not changed. It's been like a constant 120 the whole time. But it seems like I'm dropping a whole lot of frames. This is highly disappointing. Can we stop dropping frames, please? We'll explore around here for a second. Comprehensive history? And then we'll worry about that later. Oh, you can't climb inside? Just read everything, why not? I don't know what this does or if there's any point to it, but 
Now we have it so we can read it later, I suppose. Oh my god, there's so many books. Thank you for accepting our invitation. As strict? <laughs> Its change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grand Master entrusted the Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I must get to the bottom of this. Wanna team up with me? Huh. I should warn you though, I don't slow down for anyone, Greenhorn or otherwise. With Jean by our side, nothing can stand in our way. At least, that's what I want to say. But I can't keep spouting that same old line. She always dashes headlong into the heat of the battle, and we want her to take better care of herself. You realize she's right there. I really hope that one day, I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore, because we have her back. A way to fight against storm terror? I'm sorry, but there's no way to do it alone. Judging by the level of its animal power, it's definitely not an ordinary creature. I could teach oh, really? you some elemental basics, so you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. A dragon is not an ordinary creature. Crazy. You're not bad with that wind glider. Your gliding style seems familiar. Mm. <laughs> I don't think we need to ask him about the his The Grand iPad. Master is currently off leading an expedition, so the Master, Gene, has stepped in to oversee the knights while he's gone. Hence, you'll hear many refer to her as the acting Grand Master. When the Grand Master left, he took the vast majority of our knights with him, leaving the acting Grand Master with far more responsibility and stress. Come to think of it, it must have been difficult for Jean. Alright, let's get back to what we were trying to do. First of all, we got lots of things to click on. What is this? Test run. So we can try this guy. We should probably do that sometime soon, because I think you get rewards for it. Obtain after... Sparks among the pages. Recommended adventure rank level five. Crash course. So it looks like we get these two heroes for free, and we get these two weapons, which are probably wep weapons for them, which is cool. Oh well, we can try other heroes too. Oh, nice. And then what else do we got going on? We got some out here. Oh, we got more achievements. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take it. We've completed two achievements out of a bajillion. What is this, $300? I heard that I should do the survey, but I'll do that like in between episodes, I think. So I'll leave that up, so I don't forget about it. Because I think the survey gives you good rewards. Oh, the mouse keeps going back to the middle, that's why I get confused. So this just has level up. Wait, do they have different gliders each? Yeah. Switch all of my heroes to the better glider. Obviously. Okay, now... The question is, how do we get to that menu... ...without pressing F3? What does the shop do? I don't know what this means. Paimon's Bargains. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. Remaining three days. I don't even know how you get any of these currencies. Okay, well. That's not really working out. How else do we get to that menu? Whoa, there it is, right there. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So we currently have 11 of these. So our options for using them are either we can roll for venti 
looks like he's gonna have an increased rate for 20 days where do we see like details let's learn how this works he's now available five star character venti and then these four star characters got increased rate how does this work for event wish base probability of winning five star is 0.6 percent i don't know what this line means guaranteed to win a five star character at least once per 90 attempts the first time you win a five star item in this event wish there's a 50 percent chance it will be the promotional character if the first five star character you win in this event is not the promotional character the next one you win is guaranteed to be the promotional character four star consolidated 13 percent yeah 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 to win at least once per 10 attempts first time you win a four star there's a 50 percent chance it'll be one of those if it is not then the next time it's guaranteed this is I mean, it seems like a good system. We don't really need to learn about duplicates right now. So these are the five stars that can be obtained from this, except this guy's got a rate up. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think we're rolling for this guy. How do I get out of here? And then our other option, we got weapons, which I think you can either get some of these five star weapons these two are five star weapons, these are four star weapons, or we can get some four star heroes, or we have this over here, which is just the basic summon, which, um, is a standard with, wish with no time limit, no promotional characters and weapons are available. Probability of winning a five star, So there's lots of five star things like weapons and characters it doesn't have venti in it at all which is interesting okay but i think we're gonna go with the beginners one because the beginners one we're gonna be able to do a 10 poll and it's gonna be at a 20 percent discount we can only do this 20 times so i think twice essentially because each pole is its own thing. And then this should just have an increased chance of giving us heroes and it's gonna be cheaper. So we'll hope to get like a five star hero but we can also get some four star heroes add to our party immediately. And then we can start to craft our own team. So we'll probably, we'll, we'll try this once. Oh, how exciting. I think that means we did not get a five star because I think it turns gold if you get a five star. So we get some weapons and stuff which will probably be useful at least for now while we don't have any higher level weapons. Okay I think you're guaranteed Noel. Okay, well we got no heroes somehow. Well that's not exactly what I expected the outcome of this to be. I expected to get like at least one more hero. Well, I guess that's how it goes. I think Noel is a healer though. What is this? I don't know what this is. Used to purchase rare resources from the shop. If you say so. Okay. So now that we've done our first summon, we have Noel in our squad. And do we want, how do we want to organize our team? Is this how we organize our team? No. Party setup, there we go. So if we had pulled like a five star hero, I would definitely put them at the front immediately. I don't know what rarity Amber is. <laughs> She's probably a 4 star because I don't know of any heroes that are less than a 4 star. So we'll probably just keep it like that. But we need to give our characters now 
some items. So like weapon. So we got like a one star sword. We don't need a one star sword. So base attack and attack percent seems pretty good at the moment. What does it do? Bane of water and ice increases damage against enemies affected by hydro or cryo. We don't really have that. When HP is above, increases crit rate. This one might be better. I like what this one looks like, but and it gives attack percent. Which might not be that relevant at the moment. So maybe we'll just do this one because it's more likely that we'll be above 90% rather than fighting enemies affected by Hydro and Cryo because I don't think we actually have anything to affect them by Hydro and Cryo at the moment. Now, do you have any weapons? You do. Coal of the Weak. Defeating an opponent restores 8% HP. Seems pretty good. Increases damage against weak spots by 24%. That actually seems way better. So we just gotta go for weak spots and we do way more damage. Alright, what do you do? You have a giant sword. Okay, she uses like great swords or something. This sword is sweet. Increases damage dealt against enemies affected by pyro or electro. After using an elemental skill, normal or charged attacks on hit deal an additional 60% attack damage in a small area. I mean, this one seems better because it's just like basically useful, but this sword is way cooler. Unfortunate. I guess we'll use this club then for now. She doesn't have any artifacts. So we'll give her this chalice. It'll give her a little bit of health. I don't think we have any other artifacts for her. Then we got a whole bunch of voiceovers. What else did we get in the mail? Oh, it's just this. We'll do that later. Okay, so where are we supposed to be going? I guess we just leave. How do I get out of here? From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. I just did we that. Could... I already equipped weapons. Oh, enhance. Genius. Press to auto add enhancement materials. What the heck? I don't really want to do that at the moment, though. I feel like we should wait until we get a better weapon until we actually enhance it. We can't sprint while flying. Highly disappointing. Uh, where am I trying to get to? Ooh, there's something over here. What is this? It's a special mushroom. More, more special mushrooms. Can we go into this door? Examine door. Okay, what's up with this door? By a curious seal. What is this place really? Interesting. There's a doggy. You can't pet the doggy. There's the blacksmith. Hard work is all there is to the craft. All right, I guess we're supposed to talk to him. Why? <laughs> I want to find a weapon for Paimon. Yes. She's a tiny one, isn't she? They need to be purpose-built. 
Wow, he does bespoke weaponry? Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? <laughs> well, we probably shouldn't have tried to get him to make a weapon for Paimon. Alright, out into the wild we go. survival lady. Oh wait, are we supposed to be going to the to this temple over here? I don't think we can go in it yet. I don't think we were high enough level. So where am I supposed to be going? Oh, there's one of the ghosty ghosts over there. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Huh? Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Wait, did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. I guess we'll worry about that little ghost thing, ghost guide later. I'm kind of curious what, what abilities do you have? A shield? Elemental shield absorbs damage for a character, but sustain too much damage and the shield will fall off. There's two ambers! So then, like, how does this lady deal damage? She has a spin to win attack. Is she a healer? Like, I'm not understanding what she's supposed to do. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Alright, let's go. Uh, this one. The level 4 one seems much more doable. Yep, party seems acceptable. You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Amber has the ability to aim and shoot while aiming her arrows will accumulate charge. Once fully charged, the arrow will be imbued with pyro. Cool. Use pyro skills to ignite combustible objects. Alright, Amber, you're up. It looks like it takes these things a little bit to burn because they have a health bar. This is cool. Okay, those things just light on fire. They don't appear to actually... Oh, they're gone. What is this? Just a fruit. I assume that's a fruit. I don't actually know. Did we get everything? 
Yep, we hit them all. Use elemental sight to see the elemental attributes of different objects. Each element has its own color. But how do I elemental sight? Green symbolizes Dendro, which can be ignited by Pyro. Opponent's wooden shields are attributed to Dendro, which can be ignited with Pyro skills, rendering them defenseless. How do I... Oh. That's pretty cool. So we got a lot of green stuff. Can we shoot at them from here and get rid of their shields? Yes, yes we can. Can you climb up here? No. Wait. Wards off attacks using wooden shield, which is compromised of Dendro. Maybe there's a way to set it on fire? Yeah, we already did that. When Pyro meets Dendro, it triggers burning, which continuously deals Pyro damage until it wears off. Okay, how do I use the portal? Or do I just jump down? I thought it was like a portal that would teleport me to the fight, but I'm thinking that I just jumped down. What is this? I'm not really understanding. Explosive Puppet Fairy Bunny. No! Dodged. Burst. Use elemental burst. Note using an elemental burst consumes all the character's energy. Okay. I see now that that is just like two pictures that shows you the same thing. A potato! Alright, we got another chest here too. to go. Are those explosive barrels over there? They do look like explosive well, barrels. Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. still. If that's a real fruit slash vegetable, I have never heard of it. This is so cool. This whole elemental vision thing. It's so high. It seems like there's something up there. But how do we get across? <gasps> Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it! When Animo meets certain other elements, it can trigger Swirl. Swirl can deal elemental damage. 
affect beings and generate further elemental reactions. I don't think that's what we need to do right now. Can we fly now? Seems like we might be able to fly. Up currents can send you soaring up high in an instant. Just jump into it and open your glider and enjoy the ride. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Was there something over there, though? I'm tempted to go back real quick. Like, what is this? Oh, there's a chest. It was worth it. I'm not sure if you could have just climbed up to this. Maybe. Okay, where else can we go? Are there any more chests or anything? I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Dragon's breath! Is that where the power's coming from? That would make Great. a Let's lot of sense, it. I guess. Phew, I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So too should our tactics. <laughs> It's what Lisa likes to say. Oh, of Speaking course. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier, if you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just, I mean, Sounds like the you're librarian saying you don't know your is history. supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? Sure. Oh boy, a big chest. That's what we like to see. Okay, so it looks like you have some time to, like, collect your rewards. This is not climbable. Is anything in this dungeon climbable? We didn't really try to climb stuff. Oh! Oh, I, th <laughs> I thought it wasn't going to let me fly for a second. Oh, boy. Huh. We can go over here. Is this as high as it goes? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright. How do we get out of here? Let's take this portal and get out. Uh. Leave domain. Hey, our character's leveled up. So we're supposed to go somewhere over there, but we're gonna go explore what this, this little ghost dude is probably gonna lead us to a chest, so. Also appears to be a teleport spot over there. Hey, where are we going? What the heck? Ooh, vaporize. Excuse you. Stop hopping. Slime condensate. Alright, let's claim our chest. We got some kind of weapon, too. Alright, let's see what's up here. Vaporize itself does not inflict damage, however, the pyro or hydro attack that triggers vaporize deals increased damage. Interesting. Okay, let's go activate whatever this is. This looks like a fire element shrine, though. 
doesn't look like a teleporty rock at all. It's gonna give me fire element? What is that? Oh, it's one of those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. Okay, we could do that later. It's a statue of the seven. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Hey, we unlocked more of the map. How does this work? I don't know what we are doing at the moment. Is this the wind statue? It looks like a fire statue, but now I'm not so sure. I don't really know what we're doing, but it sounded like Paimon told us to offer one of those things. So I guess we'll try and offer one of those things. We got one. Looks like it'll give us... Maybe it's like each stage gives you a reward. So here we'll get plus seven stamina. I have no idea where that is or what it does. Did we get feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animaculi. So, they do we need to get into the statue's <laughs> eyes? Paimon, uh, stop interrupting uh, me. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Hmm. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more blessings. So it looks like we didn't actually get that 7 stamina. I don't know how many levels we need to get to actually acquire that. Also don't know where that... Unless it's like right over there. The area that looked like it unlocked. Get wrecked, slimes. There's a chest up there. There's also something on the map right here. There's too many things. Oh, this looks like one of those uh, condensed winds. I wonder if Amber can take this dude out of his hole. Yeah. Ow, highly rude. What's going on here? Earlier we shot these down. Is there a point to shooting these? It unlocked a chest. <laughs> okay, there was a point. Okay, let's grab this condensed wind. Got it. I think we needed two to actually level up again, so there's no point to to just immediately go back to the statue and turn I'll it in. You there. There's some mint over here. Ooh. Can we mine yet? Like that one dude told us to mine, but we don't appear to be able to mine quite yet. Maybe we needed to buy like a pickaxe from him, but I wasn't thinking about it. Kind of tanky. Excuse me? Why did it just shoot early? Did I like run out of stamina or something? That's not a thing, is it?
I don't need to be on this tree. A banka. A firm arrow. All right, what are we actually supposed to be doing? We've kind of just been like running around the wrong way for a while. Actually, it kind of took us the correct direction. Also, we have Noelle's skill somehow. I don't know what her skill does, but maybe we should try it. Blanco. Oh, I also wonder if we have enough, uh, enough juice to summon again. Artifacts. But we should probably make sure our main character has artifacts first. What does this do? Attack percent? Sounds good to me. What's going on here? HP percent? Increases healing, but this one would give us... Opening chest regenerates 30% max HP over 5 seconds. I think we go with this one. Okay, and then we'll give Amber stuff. You can take the attack percent, because you seem like a DPS character. And you could just take this, sure, that's fine. And now Noelle can get some stuff. We got a pocket watch for you, that's it, sorry. We need to try using her. Oh, but I was about to check something, but then I got distracted. What the? Well, that was cool. All right, what are we doing here? I don't know what's happening. Hold on. When Geo comes in contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, Electro elements, Crystallize will be triggered. This type of elemental reaction can generate corresponding elemental shards and provide your character with various elemental shields. Use Crystallize to effectively reduce damage taken in battle. Oh, so when I hit it with my ability, it must have given me this sh Electro Shield. It appears to do damage? I'm not really understanding what that thing is at the moment. What else is here that's new. I think it's just the level up. We don't need to level up yet. Hasn't been an issue yet. Okay, so I think we'll end this one. Oh, we don't have nearly enough. What are these things called? Oh, they're acquainted fates. For some reason, I thought the primo gems are what were. I think these are the primo gems. I don't know how these work either, but we need more of these acquainted fates to actually get more heroes. Oh, there's some slime condensate. Is there some more over here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. Here's to just deal damage. Ouch. So where are we trying to go? Down in here seems correct. Oh, we could just hit them with our weapons. That makes some sense, I guess. I don't know if you need a specific kind of weapon. We give it a try. Where do we see those other rocks? So I wonder if we hit this electro thing with different elements, if it'll give us different results. Ah. An electro crystal. I don't know what that does, but I'm sure we use it to like upgrade people or something. And I'm sure we'll stumble across more rocks later. But it does seem like maybe you can just break them with any attack. stumbled across another camp of nerds. Ah. 
Oh, flaming tornadoes. I missed. No! Get me out of here! Apparently he was on fire. Divining Don't school? Try, You're not really helping, little doll thing. I want to try our special. No Ooh. Okay, it's not wasn't as exciting as I expected, but it was fine. Still got more of you, huh? Critical. There's another guy though. Oh, there's a lot of guys over there. All right, we'll go that direction in a second. We can cook here, right? Bet yeah. You can't keep up with me. I wanted this mushroom. You're not allowed to download this game? What does that even mean? That guy just lit himself on fire. I didn't even interact with that man at all. Yes, pay attention to the little doll. Well, I mean, if it's downloading, it's downloading, right? No matter how slow. It's probably like their servers, because there's a lot of people who want to play the game or something. Oh, you're still alive. Alright, so we're gonna peg this guy with fire, then switch to wind, and then swirl him up. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot. Oh, you're not dead. Alright, get wrecked, nerd. That's a lot more damage than what we were doing. Or at least it kills him faster. So I, I thought we were going to try and get to like the next objective. But now I don't really know where the next objective is. I guess we'll... Kind of lost. I think we weren't supposed to go this way. Maybe we were. We are supposed to follow this road or something. Not a hundred percent, but it does appear that it will take us to where we need to go. Oh, huh. A botanist? What are you doing? Wow, I haven't had any faunal contact in ages. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, what? I'm the best botanist in Monster. I spend all my days out in the wild among the flora and fauna. On the other hand, are somewhat lacking. What is? What does that mean? I'd appreciate the company. Oh yeah, I saw her in the city. Oh, fauna refers to animals. I didn't. I didn't actually know that. I thought it was just like. I thought it was just a different kind of plants. <laughs> I'm much more open-minded than she is, and I care about all plants, especially strange new ones. I guess I am the older one after all. I think Flora could do better if she pushed herself. Wait, 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 wait. I knew she would start running immediately. Of course, unlike Flora's shop, we sell all kinds of plants. We do not discriminate. Can we see, like, how many of everything I have? Oh, I have... I don't have any of these. I feel like this is not worth my money, but if we can always run into her a different time and then 
buy stuff from her. So now it seems like we're kind of on the right path. Probably don't need to kill everybody. But it is pretty fun to kill everybody. Oh my gosh. Get absolutely destroyed. It was a chest. What is that? I need it. Is that a butterfly? Get over here, you crazy butterfly. Ooh! It has a crystal core. Wow, I don't know what that means. But I'm sure it'll be useful. What the heck? You're icy. You should be weak to fire. He's got melt on him. Quickly, now swirl him up. Alright, get in there. We'll put a shield on. <laughs> get absolutely wrecked. I'm liking how all these elements work. It's pretty cool. Really, in this game, it seems less important what your heroes actually are, and more important what element they are. Because you just want to make like good elemental combinations. Oh, there's one of these ghosty ghosts. I don't see any enemies around here, so you must be related to how we're gonna actually do this. Oh, jeez! with the thing oh yeah here we go oh no i haven't taken any damage though because of my shield now i got a shock shield probably using fire against you is not ideal in fact it does no damage fair okay so that didn't really didn't really open that other chest that I was looking at. How the heck did we open this? Oh, I got an idea, actually. These look like torch... torches. I'm a friggin' space genius. But we gotta find them all. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, we're so smart. What the heck? The sword's leaving. <laughs> it's trying to escape. So we're trying to go over there. I guess that blue marker is where we're trying to go. But this one's getting kind of long, so... Maybe we'll take a break there, because it looks like we're going to go in another one of those temples. But we'll, we'll read this last elemental reaction thing. When pyro meets el electro overflow occurs, the resulting explosion deals AOE pyro damage and tears effortlessly through otherwise sturdy objects. Okay, that's pretty cool. But anyways, that's going to do it for now. Next time we'll go up to that temple and do another one of those temples. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And I will see you next time.